At any given moment, 100,000 Americans are texting while driving. Now a new ad campaign asks drivers to make a promise. Find your reason and take the pledge to never text and drive. It can wait. The four largest cell phone carriers are behind this safe driving campaign. Charlene Lake is a senior vice president with AT&T. There are statistics that prove that it is not safe and that you cannot just do one quick text and get away with it, that there really are significant dangers. Especially for teenagers. Texting and driving is now the leading cause of teen driver deaths, killing 3,000 of them each year, more than drunk driving. Research shows that driving while talking on a cell phone is similar to driving with a .08 blood alcohol content. That's legally drunk. But if you're texting while driving, you're twice as likely to be involved in a crash than if you were drunk driving. 39 states ban text messaging while driving. Only two impose jail time for violations. By contrast, almost every drunk driving arrest results in time behind bars. In Pasadena, California, police pulled over this driver today for using a phone. Last month alone, they gave out more than 500 tickets to drivers for texting or talking on their phones. Pasadena police officer Derek Lachlan. It's not just our teenagers, it's adults. It's those parents who are on the phone while their, their children are in the back seat or their teenagers are in the car. So the negative influence is everywhere. The cell phone industry's anti-texting campaign begins next week. Ben Tracy, CBS News, Los Angeles.